Spin tax is abbreviated for spin syntax, and it's a list of text phrases, sentences, and synonyms that are separated by the pipe character, and each group of keywords is enclosed inside curly brackets. So what uh, spin tax actually is, it's, it's a way for you to take a piece of content, such as an article or blog post, uh, a paragraph, a sentence, a title, anything that you want, any kind of text, and it will allow you to create multiple versions of that text. So say if you have uh, 20 WordPress uh, blogs or 20 uh, Twitter accounts, uh, Spintax will allow you to generate unique versions of the same content so that you can uh, syndicate that content to multiple sources uh, such as your Tumblr, your WordPress, your Twitter, and so on and so forth. So um, that's what Spintax is. It's what Spintax does. I'm going to show you how it works and I'm going to do a little bit of it manually for you and then um, there are other uh, services that you can use that will do it automatically. But I just want you to get the feel for it just so that you know how to do it manually. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you a basic sentence here. So we'll put, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So we'll put, um, the girl ran down the road to her grandmother's house. Okay, so this is a basic sentence. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this into, I'm going to put this into spin tax where we can do multiple versions of this. So um, what we're going to do is when spin, when you do spin tax, spin tax has to be in the uh, curly bracket. So let me do this. This is a curl open curly bracket. And this is a closed curly bracket. Now to separate the keywords, what we need to do is we need to do the pipe character. And that is this right here. In my keyboard, it's above the uh, slash key, the backslash like that. So um, everybody's key keyboards are different. I understand that. So the pipe character needs to be between the keywords and the open and closed bracket needs to, um, needs to close them. So... The first one we're going to do is the, so I'm going to um, make multiple versions of the word the. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open bracket it, and I'm going to do the pipe character so that we um, are separating the keywords. So we're going to put the, that, this, and we're going to close the pipe, pipe character so that on each version, it, the, words, the word the could be either the, that or this so it could be um, right now it could read the girl ran down the road to her grandmother's house or that girl ran down the road to her grandmother's house or this girl ran down to her grandmother's house and we're going to keep doing this as we go on so girl we can change to we change to boy ran down the road and we're going to put up, and we're going to separate it with the pipe character. Then we're going to close it. If you don't close them properly, or you don't put the pipe, if you put the pipe character, don't put the pipe characters in. It's not going to, it's not going to error out, because this is just what will happen. Ran up down the road. So you want to make sure you put the pipe characters in, and you want to make sure you open and close them. If you don't open and close them properly, then it won't work properly. And I'm going to show you that here in just a second. I'm going to show you a tool that you can use, a free tool that you can use to check your spin tax. Okay, so we're going to change road to alley. And then we can add a, we can add a, um, a word in here as well. So what we would do to this is we would put in a curly bracket. We would not put anything in. So this would... This would pretty much uh, just add another. Um, this would add another um, word in here. So sometimes it might add the word, and sometimes it might not. So this is like a blank right here. If you don't put anything in, and we'll put gravel, and then we're going to put a space in after gravel. 
because if we put in the space, if we put in the space here, it's going to automatically put in a, a, a double space, and we don't want that. We only want the we only want the space if it puts in gravel. And um, I'm just doing this just for uh, sake of demonstration. So you want to make sure that you do this to where it's 100% readable. And his her grandmother's house, and we'll put grandfather, we'll put aunt, and we'll put uncle. And then we'll close it off here at the apostrophe S, so the apostrophe S is always there. And then we'll change house to apartment, condo, trailer. You get the idea. Okay, so we're creating multiple versions. We've just created multiple versions of this sentence. That basic sentence, let's go see how many versions we've, we've uh, created. So let's do, um, we'll go to S, we'll go to spin.me. So that's spin with the number one in it, sp1n.me. And this is what we use to uh, check your spin tag. So I'm going to copy and so I'm going to take whatever what was in there out and I'm going to paste it in there. And from what I did, we have 1,536. Uh, unique versions of that one sentence just that one sentence now can you imagine what you do if what that would happen if you did that on a paragraph so um, now I'm going to show you what would happen if uh, you forgot a bracket if, so if we forgot this end bracket here it's going to error out on us it's going to say there's a missing end bracket it's not going to tell you where it is unfortunately but it's going to show you that you do have something missing and that you do have to figure out where it is um, so we'll put that back and then what we can do here is we can uh, put in, have it uh, uh, spin them, and we can see the uh, all phrases down here at the bottom. Now what we're going to do is um, 1,536 responses may uh, break the uh, web browser, so I'm only going to do 100. I'm going to randomize it, and this is what we're going to keep. This is the sample stuff that we get. A uh, girl ran up the gravel road to her grandmother's house. Boy ran down the gravel road. See how it put gravel in and it took it out? So that's a really cool thing that we can do with spin taxes. We can actually put the um, um, different words in here that didn't just take out different words. So it's really, really cool. And um, so play around with it. You can play around with the same sentence that I used. Um, so use your own sentences. So play around with it and um, go back to the uh, sp1n.me and uh, this will uh, tell you what you're missing. If you're making some mistakes, it'll tell you what you're missing. Always check it with the spin me before you actually do the spin tax um, because if you do the spin tax without checking it and something's wrong, something's incorrect, then um, you'll be sending out a broken spin tax, which is not good. Google can determine this broken spin tax, and they will actually punish your website for doing so. So please do not do that. Always check your spin tax here before you send it out. Other places that you can do spin tax at, these are paid services. It's Spin Rewriter and Word AI, also Quillbot. Uh, spin Rewriter is the best tool for spin tax because... It will do all of the spin tax that I've just seen, and you can billions, most of them, depending on the size of your article, they'll give you billions and billions of uh, um, unique articles with that. Uh, Word AI is basically, if you wanted just to spin one article, it'll do that to you, do that for you. Also, Quillbot, uh, that's good for one article as well. But the best one that I've seen the best one and the uh, most affordable one, if you're looking for a service, it is a Spin Rewriter. So go ahead and play around with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I explained everything to you to where you understand. Um, please comment down below if you have any questions on this. I'll be glad to answer them for you.